Hi everyone. Uh, I'm coming to you from my, uh, my office away from the parish, uh, my home office. It's pretty small, but you can have, you can have the grand tour. That's the, that's the picture of the Sacred Heart. Um, the only piece of artwork I think I've, one of the few pieces of artwork that I actually purchased. My games. Um, I don't know if you want to check out the title of that top game. Had that game for mon um, years, actually. It's a really fun game, but I have had a very um, sick desire to play it lately. For those of you, if you couldn't read what it said, it was pandemic. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to play it. Uh, it's kind of sick and twisted, probably. Pray for me. Um, so my bookshelf, I don't know if you can see all of my books. I don't think you can. Oh, there you go. Those are some of my books. I have a lot more books in my in the living room. Um, that's about a third of them. Um, my craft corner. That's my attempt at being an artist. Every once in a while, I like to pretend I know what I'm doing when it comes to art. I don't really, but it's okay. Um, usually on the door behind me, I have this hanging. That's a picture of my mom and dad. So there you go. You have now had the grand tour of my office. I don't give it often. I'm just telling you. Um, but anyway, I just I just wanted to reach out to all of you and tell you that you're in my prayers. Um, particularly at 3 o'clock uh, when I pray with my rosary with the rest of the world. I don't know if you know this, but Pope Francis is calling for all Catholics to pray the rosary at 9 p.m. Italy time, which is 3 p.m. our time. And um, you can join a you can just do it in your house at that time with your family, or you can join in uh, on various uh, live ways uh, on the internet from Form That'll Do It in their studio. You can do it on Facebook with Jeff Cavins, although I couldn't figure that out today. I could only do that yesterday, which was Thursday. Um, but I just wanted to share a couple of my thoughts with you. Um, I don't know about any of you, but uh, I never expected to be doing this. I, I, it's not that I didn't believe that it was a deal. I just didn't think it was gonna get. It was gonna be as bad as it became. Clearly, humble pie. I was wrong. And um, I'm at home working, and you're probably all at home teaching your kids and trying to get, do work at the same time, um, or whatever it is you got to do. You're doing. Um, and it's just made a little bit more stressful at this time. But I just wanted to encourage all of you. Um, I believe in a God that is beyond all of this. I believe in a God that can take the worst circumstances in the world, circumstances that seem hopeless at times, and turn them into something glorious. The proof of that is the crucifix, or the sacred heart is behind us, the heart that is pierced for our transgressions, the heart, the, you know, the God who died on the cross so he could break us free from our sins to establish this kingdom of his, to give himself to us in the Eucharist. So like even the horrible things that happen, God can use for his glory. And I saw other people kind of thinking along the same lines because on the web page, uh, one of my friend's Facebook pages, it had this, this little thing that said, I can't wait to read the saint biographies from this time in the future, like in the future when they're looking back and reading about the saints that are ma being made today. I bet some of those are gonna read, Saint, fill in the blank, was such a lukewarm Catholic until the Lent of 2020 and that just ignited his faith or her faith. And I don't know what your faith is like right now. I'm not gonna pretend to know, but I know in my own life, this is just a call to love the Lord even more to not take for granted the Eucharist, to not take for granted being able to come together, be able to give a person a hug. Um, it, is, it is for all of us to dive deeper in our faith during this time. It is Lent, and Lent is a time to go deeper. And this Lent is uh, more things are being stripped away from us, the things that we cling to, uh, science being having all the answers. Well, science haven't had the answers just yet. I'm not saying that... The doctors aren't going to find a cure. There isn't going to be a um, vaccine or anything. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is it is time now to stretch, to hold on tighter to Christ. Because it is really he who has the answers. It is he who brings us home. And everything that we have here 
all the extras, all the affluence, all of the things that we have taken for granted, um, especially in terms of our faith. Everything, so many things are being stripped away from us. And now is a time to go deeper into who Christ is and who you are in him. So I'm praying for all of you. I love you all. And I want you all to know that you can call me anytime. Um, I will answer my phone unless for some reason I can't, but leave a message. I'll call you back. Um, and uh, please read the rest of the email. There's some stuff in there, um, including how to talk to your kids about situations like this, um, inspired by one of the moms who I was emailing with this past week. But again, uh, love you and I'm praying for all of you. God bless.